Good morning and a happy new year. Today I'm going to show you how you can add some pizzazz to your Gutenberg blocks, a bit like I'm showing you on the screen right now. So as I scroll down slightly, can you see how the yogi pops up? Which is pretty cool. Just add some life to the page and if I scroll down a bit further you'll see other blocks. These are all Gutenberg blocks have these different anima animation effects on them. Now you need to be careful when you're doing this because it can end up looking a bit like a terrible PowerPoint presentation <laughs> with needless things just confusing the reader. But you can do these subtly and it can just add a bit of life and dynamism to your pages. You'll see how the video just gradually fades up as I scroll down. And again, this button just sort of drops down slightly. This is actually my favorite one, this pricing table here. Let me refresh this. This has this wobble effect on it. Just wobble slightly, draws the eye into where you want them, your readers to click. This is all incredibly simple to do. And what's really lovely about this, that you can do these on the block level. No technical knowledge needed, just a free WordPress plugin. Let's get into how you do it. Block of the week, block of the week. Yeah, block of the week. Which block is it going to be? Well, you will have to stick around, my friend, and maybe you will see. It's block So this is the plugin you're going to need to do this. Uh, it's called Blocks Animation, CSS Animations for Gutenberg Blocks. I will put a link to the plugin in the description below. It's a free plugin, pretty lightweight. It's being updated all the time. It's got 10,000 downloads and it's got some um, good reviews if you go through the reviews. A few people have asked for some more functionality, which I, I might talk about a bit later. But that's the plugin you want. You just install it and this is the side I've actually got it on. And then what you'll find on the block level, and this can be on a group of blocks or an individual block as well. So this is the Yogi that I actually put the animation onto. If you look in your block customizer panel over on the right, you'll see this new panel. And you might need to scroll down on the right to see this, but it'll say animations and in there, essentially is the plugin and you've got essentially got three choices these are the three choices you've got the animation style how the delay that you want the animation to show and the speed of the animation let me just show you what's in each of those so in animation style these are all your styles now you've got tons of stuff in here now this is where I say be careful what you choose so a few recommendations here avoid things that are kind of cartwheeling in it's obviously up to you but I would avoid things that are cartwheeling in or bouncing crazily and personally I like things to fade in elegantly but it's down to you what you choose I'd also kind of recommend as much as possible especially if you're using nice elegant fades try and use the same ones on every on on every not on every element but on every element you're going to use an animation on rather than having lots of different animations on the same page try and use the same effect throughout the page or just have a consistency for your readers so what we've got here we've got obviously none then we've got bouncing and it'll give you a little preview actually when you select them here as well so you can see <laughs> you can see actually it, um, it preview within the actual block so you know you can just go through these and see which ones you like here's the fade one which is kind of subtle um, so you've kind of got bouncing you've got fading and you can fade in and out and fade from the right and the left all that kind of stuff you've got flipping which is kind of horrible really so I kind of I can't imagine ever using that one but it's up to you if you like things to flip around uh, and then you've got rotating you can rotate them in now if she was doing a cartwheel that'd be kind of that'd be kind of cool but she's not so I won't be using that one uh, so yeah rotating again to the left and the right and up and down all that stuff, sort of stuff then you've got sliding that's sliding down um, and then you've also got obviously sliding up and uh, sliding um, sliding out as well so they can just sort of disappear which might be quite humorous in certain situations what else have we got in here we've also got zooming in that's zooming that's a bit more subtle um, let's go down so you've got zooming in and up that's kind of crazy I'd probably avoid that one so generally I'd avoid the really crazy ones personally um, and then under zooming you've got roll in again if she was doing some kind of gymnastics that might be kind of cool uh, and then you've got other ones and in the other ones actually there's some quite there's some quite cool ones in the other ones these are the ones right at the bottom here and that is that you've got that wobble one there and the one I liked for my pricing table which I showed you right at the start let's scroll down again uh, was the jello one I think yeah that's kind of cool for pricing tape for the pricing table example so there you go you can just go through those and kind of play with them but again, just be just be conscious of your readers. I mean, you can get a bit sucked into these being a bit over over overwhelming for your readers. So I would generally try and stick on the subtle ones. So you choose your animation style. Let's just choose fade in, and then you can choose the delay here, when that's going to show. 
and then you've got the speed of them slow slower fast or faster um, what would be really cool here is if you could actually have some um, on triggers within here as well but that may be coming later but they're still pretty cool they still they still work really elegant let me just show you this page again there's the fade up um, appear up and let me just show you my pricing table one because that's my favorite one that little wobble there and as i say what's really nice about these that you can have these per block so in for example in this bottom pricing table one i selected the animation style um for that column but there's no reason why i couldn't do it on the button just on the button so you can be really targeted in terms of the animations that you apply so there we go there's a, there's a really quick and simple way that you can bring your pages to subtle life uh, using Gutenberg and Gutenberg blocks and that free plugin. I hope you found that useful. If you want to see more videos around Gutenberg, hit the subscribe button now and you'll be notified every time I release a new one. And if you like this video, if you can give it a thumbs up, hit the thumbs up below now, that'd be fantastic because it really, really helps spread the word of the channel. Also, every time you do hit the like button, our cats get a little treat. So thanks for watching, keep well and I'll see you soon.